What's up YouTube, Admin Scissor here, and today I'm bringing you a first look at Origins of an Empire. This game, it, I just got an email about it a minute ago, telling me that it, it's one of the games on my uh, pre-register list for Android. And, well I guess it finally came out, so they sent me an email and told me I could go ahead and download it. So I did right away, and I wanted to get a first look video out to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, to be honest, I did one already and I lost the footage. I had a, a corruption on my memory card on my other device, so I'm switching over devices to a different one, so hopefully this one will work out better. But pretty much, it, it's your run-of-the-mill real-time strategy MMORPG. We got uh, the city building, troop training, you know, be the number one lord. They're great. I've played several... Um, I, it's, it's, it's what it looked like Lord of War was going to be. If anyone saw my Lord of War videos, they just didn't have what it took to carry me across very many. I, uh, I was a little misled by the advertisement I saw for it. But without further ado, my prince. The world we live in is a volatile one, oft lit by the fires of war. We must develop our castle, train troops protect our lands and plunder the resources of other princes if we wish to survive and prosper. Let's take a look at how to fight. Now this is very familiar. I love the green line watching the troops trick, but this is new. This is very different. I'm not used to seeing this here. On the field of battle, only the strongest of armies can sweep aside all before all before them like sand before a desert storm. Victory. My prince, in the course of dispatching our contemptible foe, we have suffered heavy casualties. I suggest we go back to our castle and rebuild our forces in preparation for the next battle. Our city's on fire. Post war reconstruction is vital. We need to build our empire as soon as possible. First, we must construct a lumber mill because wood is a key factor in the development of your empire. We'll build a sawmill, excuse me, a lumber mill. Mm-hmm, cough, cough. We've all played this game before. <laughs> Collected. Nice. We need to build our house of swords. This will let us train our ground troops, our foot soldiers. I believe what they're called meat shields. <laughs> Take the blunt of the hit so our archers can stand back and fire from above very important role they play we're gonna go ahead and train a little bit we don't want to overdo it early on because once we start leveling up a little bit and getting stronger stronger troops these low level troops aren't gonna be worth having we'll need a few now of course Oops. let's um not We have lots of uh, little icons here. We have a benefits tab. While we wait, we have a sign-in bonus. I love a sign-in bonus. Makes me want to jump on every day, even if I'm not in the middle of something. Okay, we have an event hall. Apparently there's an event going on right now. We have New Kingdom Event 1, Rise of Sultans. Complete 66 tasks to receive a piece of equipment of purple quality. We have a one on it already. Perfect. That's our event sign in for the day. And here is our Rise of the Sultans event. Yes, it is a purchase pack. Does that say $317.86 US? Marked down to $5. 
Yeah, we know what this game is. Oh, didn't see that. There was a buy gold. Oh, it's just a sale. I'm sure there will always be a sale when we're ready to spend some money. I would like to find a lower level bird, le preferably level 1. I guess a level 2 one's not so bad. Nope. We're gonna need a level 1. Let's quick search him. There we go. And we're going to attack him. Uh, I don't know, Tim. Ten guys will get him, but we'll see. Oh my, that's a bit of a journey there. We'll come back. Send to the resource farm. So this game is your basic real-time strategy MMO. We do have that added combat animation sequence, and I think that's cool. We'll learn more about it later. I hope that it's interactive. I'm sure that it is, but if it's not, then it, we can at least learn from how our troops battle and how they battle against other certain types of troops. And it'll, it'll probably give us a better understanding at the very least, but being able to control things, that would be cool too. Maybe a certain, maybe siege weapons can be launched on their own. Maybe you can shoot a ballista while in combat, or... I have no idea, I'm just very hopeful for this game. But this is Origins of an Empire. It is a brand new real-time strategy MMO. It just came out, I mean, today is its first day out. I was on the pre-register list, I got notified, I, I immediately jumped on. And I do like it, I, I think I'm going to stay here. This is... I mean, obviously the first server that they've opened this is a good time to join at the very beginning of a server. You don't want to jump in too late. Then you're, you know, kind of a weakling. Everybody else will just bully you and you just really won't get very far. You want to get in in these early, early stages or you want to be rich, to be completely honest. You want to be able to just dump cash into this game. People who do that as... Whatever as it is, tend to succeed. I've played in a server where people would just dump unheard of amounts of money on this game. Or not on this particular game, but I mean it was this game. And they would just be untouchable. Which is cool in itself, but at a certain point it's... Oh no, here comes that guy again, you know. Everybody bubble up or everybody teleport away. Dump your resources, just nothing you could do, just like a bully, but worse. A warlord bully. But guys, this is Origins of an Empire. We'll have more of this video in the future, definitely. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up this video here. This is just the first look, kinda let you guys see that it is in fact like the other games that it claims to be like. This is the strategy genre that we like, and this is this is what it said it was. I know Lord of War didn't hold so true to those standards, but this game has so far. And with an added feature, which I think is neat. I'm gonna I'm gonna fool around a little bit with this game off screen. I'm gonna try to find an alliance to join. I'm gonna try to progress a little bit further into the game and just I'm gonna try to kind of fill it out a little bit more and get into it. And then when I bring you another video, I'll have a better understanding of it myself and I may, might even have a tip or two. Who knows? But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.